We are now hearing for sure that uh, Mark Kelly is leaning very hard towards actually flying. He's been considering this for several weeks at this point, and uh, NASA is going to be having a press conference later this afternoon where we will hear, hear the actual answer. Reflecting on the most difficult time in his life, Mark Kelly has a new outlook. Maybe this event, this terrible event, um, maybe it was fate. I hadn't been a big believer in fate until recently. Telling his wife that perhaps these trying moments bear a greater meaning. That maybe something good can come from all this. Maybe it's our responsibility. But Kelly is facing yet another tough decision to leave his wife's bedside for the space shuttle Endeavor's final mission, a mission years in the making and Kelly's last chance for another space flight. It is a tough decision for him, but I think it's reasonable to expect that he will go on to command this mission in April. And liftoff of Discovery. Kelly has been training for the two week long mission for more than 18 months. He needs to resume his training by next week. But after his wife's incredible early progress, what happens if he leaves? While it would be important for him to be there at the bedside and to be there as part of her rehabilitation, he's really only one part of the equation of her recovery. Surrounded by family and friends, Giffords has no shortage of cheerleaders. And with video and phone technology, she will be able to see her husband in space. If he decides not to fly, a reserve commander for the April 19th mission is on deck. And even if Mark Kelly says he will fly, that final decision is up to NASA. He's the ideal person for this crew from a mission, mission risk perspective. He's a tough guy. He's, he's got his stuff together. So now what NASA really has to, to look into is whether he is uh, going to be distracted while he's up there in space as a commander or while his wife is now suffering back here in the hospital. They also have to consider this issue of danger. In the last 30 years, there have been 132 shuttle flights, but in two cases, they have been lost. So this is a very, very dangerous decision.